Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I've been waiting to make this video for a couple of weeks now. Finally, I have all three, let me get this right, Seiko Black Series Night Vision Prospects Limited Edition watches. Um, there's three of them to pick from. You get a Samurai, you can get a Tortoise, or you can get a Solar Diver. Generally, when the Black Series have come out in the past, they usually if you don't hit my store, they don't always hit um, the USA at all. Actually, when the first Black Series came out a bunch of years back, they never even came out in the US. So, kind of psyched to have them. I have all three here to show you. I guess their whole draw and the night vision is their use of a new uh, uh, super Luma Bright compound that is glows bright green in daylight um, and then obviously does its magic at nighttime. Bring always check. I am wearing my. Well, it was a Yacht Master kind of weekend, so I kept it on, still loving it, scratched all to hell, doesn't bother me, uh, it gets used and abused, no safe queens here. And on my other wrist, I am sporting uh, my Islander Robin's Egg Blue. Uh, they'll come back, they're out of stock again, uh, seems to go very fast, but they will certainly be back and that's all i have to say let's see the night vision so here we go three of the seiko uh seiko black series night vision limited edition prospects divers whatever you want to call them actually the tortoise uh tortoise is not really a diver uh but I guess you could call it one, it's just lacking the dive bezel, so certainly not ISO certified. Uh, but we have a solar diver, a samurai, and a, a tortoise. Um, so I guess I'll start, I'll start with Mr. Um, Mr. Samurai, or Mrs. Uh, SRPH97. And you just saw the price, so you won't be surprised when I tell it to you. Uh, but it is indeed six, whoops, 675. But, 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 but. You are getting sapphire, so you don't have to worry about that. I guess I'll move this over here. A little set dressing. It's a little bit of a messy set. I'm trying new stuff. We'll figure it out. So here it is. Uh, it's really a nice looking watch. The Loom, as I said in the intro, the Loom is a bright color. It is Seiko's Luma Bright, of course. Um, but it really pops in the daytime. And of course, against that, the blackness of you know, the case, and then it's not a black dial. It's very charcoaly. It's very deep, uh, a very dark gray. Let's let's get it. Let's get them uh, wound up. It's a Seiko four. How is it? Four H thirty five. My goodness, my N H's and my four H's. There are no four H's, are there? Uh, Seiko four R thirty five movement hand winds hacks date only at the three o'clock with a cyclops twenty four joules. Um, I said hand wind tax, 40 hours of power reserve. Let me get my notes out for you. Uh, let's see, so it is, it's standard Samurai Fair. It's 43.8 millimeters in diameter. It's 13 and a half thick, but like I said, we are now looking at a flat sapphire crystal. It's 48 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. We do have drilled lugs. For easy strap changes, and speaking of strap changes, is a beautiful silicone rubber strap. Of course, with black hardware, Seiko branding, uh, solid screw down case back with the Seiko Wave. Uh, Divers Watch 200, got a little series number. This is number 357 out of 8,000. It's a pretty decent series, huh? Uh, stainless steel, sapphire crystal, made in Japan. And a lot of people like to see that. Uh, so it is a 22 millimeter lug. The strap, as usual, is very supple. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, and the watch weighs 122 grams. So let's um, see how close up we can get. That looks great. Look at the green. The date's done in negative. Of course, there's 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. Guys, I picked these out at random. I know, uh, man, talk about alignment. I was going to say, let's look at the alignment. I know people really like to get up in arms about it. Um, the alignment actually looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Looks really good. Um, I'll do the light shot uh, in a minute, um, but great looking. Great, great, great. Is it a ceramic insert? I believe it might be, actually, because it is embossed and it is nice and shiny. Cool. 
Okay, so this was, um, right, so this is the Samurai 675 SRPH97. So let's look at SRPH99. Now this is uh, it's about 100 bucks cheaper. I, I, you know, it's funny, because you'd say, well, why is it $100 cheaper? It's just a little bit smaller, about a millimeter. It's got a, you know, a, a, um, a composite strap, meaning uh, it's a little bit of leather, a little bit of uh, nylon, but it is sapphire. It doesn't have the dive bezel. It's got the bi-directional, smoothly rotating um, compass bezel. And then it hit me, even though it is, oh, by the way, it's got all these, um, the case back, instead of having the Seiko Wave, it's got all of these uh, ground-to-air emergency signal codes. It's pretty cool. It is 200 meters of water resistance. And then it hits me. It's not ISO certified. So people always say, oh, just if it's 200 meters of water resistance, well, I don't always say that, but, you know, why isn't ISO certified? Because ISO is very stringent, and you have to test each and every one. Is it worth 100 bucks? That's for you to decide. Um, but that's really, between that, maybe the insert and the strap, that's the only difference. So this is the Tortoise, 42.4, uh, oh, it runs on the same movement, a 4R35, not Cyclops, offset at the, what is that, between the 4 and the 5? Yeah, right? We've gone through this. <laughs> um, let's see, so it is 42.4 millimeters in diameter. It's 11.7 thick, pretty slim for a 4R35 bearing watch, wouldn't you say? It's 45 lug tip to lug tip. It is that solid screw down case back, 200 meters of water resistance. Uh, I said sapphire crystal screw down. Still has a screw down crown. It's just missing like the ISO certification, but beautiful looking. Really like it. It's a great size. It's a wonderful size, actually. Again, look at the thinness. Pretty impressive, right? for a 4R movement-based watch. Ta-da! Okay, so like I said, this nice composite strap. I'm calling it composite because it's two things, but you know, it's leather and it's nylon, but nice buckle. And, you know, it's a pretty good looking watch. Now, on to the last one. And perhaps what I'm gonna consider, uh, by price, the most controversial. This is a solar diver. They put it on a plated bracelet, and that's going to drive the cost up. Yes, it's still a sapphire, but now it's solar, and the dial actually still maintains its dark, charcoaly appearance, um, but it has to be translucent to be absorbing energy in the V147 movement. So pretty cool, but pricey at 625 for a solar diver. Uh, 38 and a half millimeters in diameter, just 11 thick, so it's pretty svelte. 46 on the lug tip to lug tip, drilled holes, and negative, negative end links. That's a positive on the negative end links. Solid screw down case back, Seiko Wave, uh, Sapphire Crystal, 20 millimeter lug, flip lock clasp with a few positions of micro adjust, and of course, right there, you do have a diver's extension. This one's going to weigh 150 grams. Oh, the tortoise, by the way, 88 grams. Pretty 88, and the Samurai was 122. 50% weight difference. Pretty impressive, in my opinion. Um, but so this is your solar diver. Uh, with the crown's out, isn't it? Seiko does that, by the way, on a lot of these solar divers. They ship it with crown out. Can't figure out why. Date at the three, done in negative. Same um, night vision, um, night vision motif with the light green. It really pops. It looks great. Let's come in. Nice and close on the dial. Movement Japan. So this one we don't say made in Japan. We say Movement Japan. But it looks really good. It's just, again, I just feel it's a little bit pricey. Okay, so let's, um, let's see the loom, right? There's the Solar Diver. Guys, they all glow great. They all look the same. It's everything you expect uh, from Seiko's Lumabrite compound. So there's that tortoise on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Looks fine, nice, really nice. That great looking samurai. Oh man, that thing, that thing just kills. This is actually the most popular one so far. Outsells the, the solar and the tortoise. Uh, the solar, yeah, the solar and the tortoise by a long shot. Looks amazing.
Speaking of solar, here's that 38.5 millimeter solar solar night vision diver. Perfect for uh, you folks that are, you know, looking for something a little bit smaller. By the way, it's gonna be, I'm going to do a solar diver video also because Seiko also released um, some more full-size solar divers and they upgraded them to Sapphire, which was a great move, but the price, of course, eh, went significantly higher. And I think that's going to do it. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the uh, new Seiko Pro Specs Night Vision Black Series Limited Pro <laughs> whatever. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, any concerns, video tips, anything. Love to hear them. Love to put them into play. Put them down below. And I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.